and what I'm here to do today is just to give a brief video demo of how to use some of the software we've developed um, here in our lab. Uh, so today I'm going to be giving a brief demo of the Prosody Lab Aligner. Uh, as you can see, I'm on their GitHub page right now, um, and this is the address, uh, but it'll also be linked below this video, so you can click on it at any time. And uh, I'm just going to be giving a brief overview of what it is that the aligner does in the first place, um, how to use it, and I'm also going to be just giving you a short list of things that you're going to need to install um, before you can get it up and running. Um, in later videos, I'm going to be giving you brief demos of the more advanced uh, features on the aligner. Um, as well as how to install it and how to use some of the other programs that we've developed that'll take your data and clean it up and make it usable by the aligner. So, uh, let's get started. What is the aligner? Um, so, I don't know if you caught it, but... Uh, Alright, I'll show it to you. Um, the aligner is a Python interface for forced audio alignment using uh, these packages, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. Um, so what is forced audio alignment? And I'll show you, I have a demo up and running. Um, if you're wondering what these other folders are for, you'll find out if you stick around and watch more videos. Uh, sorry, we're trying to keep this as short as possible so that uh, we're not bogging you down with watching this really long video if you only want to know two or three things. So. What forced audio alignment is, is it takes a lab file, and I'll just show you this in a small editor, um, which, as you can see, has some text in it. It's basically just a text file that has a .lab extension um, paired with a WAV file. So this is where WAV file, this is what it sounds like. A window disappeared. And as you can see, the, the text file is just a transcript of what's in the WAV file. So. It takes these two and from them generates a text grid. And I'll show you what a text grid is in a minute. A uh, text grid is a file format you can open in a program called Prot. If you don't know what Prot is, uh, it's just a program written by linguists for linguists for doing um, acoustic phonetics. Uh, so being able to sit down and measure um, things about speech. So, uh, what a text grid is, is just a way of storing a whole bunch of data in a time-aligned manner. Um, so, in this case, what we're doing is we are um, storing the beginning and ends of words, um, and we're storing where those beginnings and ends are in a sound file, particular sound file. Um, so, here is what this sounds like. So this is what's generated by the aligner. Um, it generates a text grid um, that basically just says, okay, on this sound file, where's the beginning and where's the end of each word in the transcript that I provided for it. So uh, it'll do this for words. It'll be finding the beginning and end of each word, but it'll also break down the, automatically break down the words uh, into their component phonemes or sounds and uh, find the beginning and end of those as well. Um, so if you are doing uh, acoustic phonetics, um, or if you're doing any other sort of task that requires you to have, uh, to know where a particular sound or word begins and ends, this obviously can be fairly useful. So, how do we even get here in the first place? Um, Actually, so let's do a quick thing. I'm actually going to just download this version of the aligner to my computer. Um, I'll be talking a little bit more about what you need to have installed uh, in a bit. So now that it's downloaded, I can open it. Here we go. I'm going to put it on my... Whoops, it's not where I wanted it. Sorry. There we go. And I'm just going to put it on my desktop so I can find it easier. And here it is. So this is the aligner. This is the aligner as you download it. Um, 
And so in order to use it, first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to open terminal. Uh, if you don't know how to open terminal, um, I've stored it on my dock, but you can just go to your applications, open the utilities folder, and click on terminal. So here's terminal, and I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Um, first things first, when you download it, or in every time that you actually have to use it, you have to first direct uh, your computer to that particular folder so it knows to look there for everything that you were um, going to be using. So to do that, um, I apologize if this is going very slowly for those of you who already know Unix, you type cd for change directory space um, for me I want desktop slash prosody lab liner and I don't want to type all of this so I'm going to press tab. Oh. Of course, I forgot the tilde. There. So, now I'm in the right folder. Um, first things first, because I just downloaded it, I'm going to have to get a dictionary. So, to do that, I'm going to type dot slash. The dot means here. I'll uh, look at this folder um, for the whatever's in it. Um, and I want get dictionary dot sh. So I'm just going to run this. It takes a little bit of time because what it's doing is it is uh, finding the CMU, the Carnegie Mellon University Pronouncing Dictionary, um, which is available online and it's basically just downloading it and storing it in a format that the liner will be able to do or to use. Um, and what the Pronouncing Dictionary is, it's just a list of words uh, and followed by their pronunciations. And actually I can show that to you. So, here it is. Um, I can zoom in a little bit so that you can see. But it, it just has a list of words all listed alphabetically. Here's a word, followed by its pronunciation. Um, so each of those phones that you saw in the text grid, this is where it generates them from. So I'm just going to close that. So now that we have that, it won't run if you don't have this. I'm going to um, just run the aligner. So the basic way that you run the aligner is this way, align.py, and then what you can do is you direct it to the folder where everything is. And actually, just to show you what's going on, i get rid of these. So I'm going to direct it to this folder by just dragging and dropping it into the window. Um, and it'll tell me exactly what folder I'm going to be using um, to align all my data. And there we go. So that's literally all there is to it. You just have to type this command um, dot slash py plus uh, space plus the location of all of your data that you want aligned. Um, and the aligner just comes, as you can see, um, with models so that it can do this for English. Um, if you want to do it with another language, you're going to have to train it, and that is a subject for a different uh, video. Uh, we'll actually be showing you what training does in the next one. Um, so as you can see, here we have all our text grids. I'll open up another one for you. And here we have another one, uh, another one a rash faded. Um, with time aligned a, uh, rash, and faded. Uh, and all of these words are looked up in this pronouncing dictionary, and then uh, each of their phonemes are also aligned. So, um, that's what the aligner does. So what do you even need to have on your computer in order to install it? Uh, well, first things first, um, as you can see, I'm using a Mac computer, uh, and Currently, uh, the liner only does work on Unix systems. Um, so Macs uh, all work in Unix. Um, I'm currently using version 10.7.5. Um, I just sort of assume that you're going to be using uh, this terminal or bash shell uh, to be running the script. Um, the other thing that it assumes is that you have a version of Python installed in your computer. Uh, if you're a Mac user, Python is already pre-installed. Um, actually, I will show you Python 
version. I'm using this current version of Python, uh, 2.7.1. Um, you can go a little earlier, but you won't be able to run it using Python 3. Uh, it's just not written in that particular version of the language. Um, you can use it with Python 2.6 as well, uh, but it does seem to encounter some problems with Python 2.5, so if that's the version that you're using, and you can always check just by typing this exact command, uh, Python dash capital V, on your terminal, uh, you might want to upgrade it. Um, and actually you're kind of probably wondering, well, it's a Python script, but you don't have to type Python before it. Um, this is just a special version of this script. Uh, you can also type it. You also can run it like this, python line.py Nope, I messed something up. Sorry. Desktop. And this will work the exact same way. Um, and actually, if you do upload upgrade your version of Python, uh, this is the command that you might want to be using because uh, sometimes if you type it the dot slash align dot py way, uh, it won't work. Um, it'll be using your old version of Python. Um, so that's just a quick uh, reminder for you to be doing that if you've upgraded. Uh, the other two things, uh, as I mentioned earlier, um, that I seem to have closed down Chrome, but um, whatever, is that you're also going to need two other programs installed in your computer in order to use it. Um, they are HTK, the Hidden Markov Model Toolkit, and SOX, which is a sound editing toolkit that you can download for use in uh, Bash or Terminal. Uh, and I'll be detailing how to install those on your Mac um, in a later video. Or if you want to get started right away, you don't want to wait for that video, or you're a little more familiar with Unix and how to install these sorts of things in your computer, uh, you can get straight to it. You can go to the README, um, which is here um, in the aligner or also on the GitHub site. Uh, this has all of the information I just gave you on the basic demo. It has, it'll have the uh, contents of the next demo, which is how to use some of the more advanced features of the aligner, um, written in its usage section, um, and it also has detailed installation instructions for you to use uh, as well. So um, I hope you found this useful, and have fun aligning.